don't do drugs. Sort of. What's going on, you guys? Finally back with another car talk. I know uh, the last couple months, two, three months, I was not very consistent with posting content for you guys. And now that, uh, you know, now that I made the decision to uh, do what's best for my, my long-term health and, uh, you know, both mentally and physically and not compete the rest of the season and hold off for next season so I can, you know, come back improved and make sure that, uh, you know, I don't come in off like I did again, you know, because... Uh, that's one of those things, you know, like I, uh, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my, my post about that, um, you know, getting a little emotional and everything. And, uh, you know, I feel like just like putting that out in the, putting that out in the universe, um, and saying that it actually helped me a lot just to get past, uh, you know, the emotional aspect of it, you know, and just to really just analyze things and be like, you know, this is what I need to do going forward and, uh, you know, take it from there. That being said, I did want to discuss things uh, in regards to that. Uh, first thing I wanted to discuss um, was PEDs, so anabolic steroids, you know, growth hormone, all that kind of stuff, and like explain something to people, you know. Um, I know a lot of guys, especially these days, you see a lot of people on social media and in general, and it's like everybody's always looks like they're in shape, everybody always looks like, you know, ripped, full, fucking jacked, all that shit, right? So the one thing you guys have to keep in mind is like you need to you need to be healthy about this too you know your body can only su sustain so much you know stress and inflammation and etc cetera, etc cetera, to a point where it just starts to fight against itself you know like for me i'll be straight up honest like i was you know on cycle last year for about seven months straight because i did three shows okay that's just being brutally honest i only had about eight weeks off um, after the, my last show of the season, which was the Toronto Pro in December, um, which wasn't, you know, in hindsight, I can look back and say that wasn't enough of a break for my body in regards to, you know, being able to reset my receptors, being able to give my, you know, a body a chance to recover, you know, health wise and everything to be a hundred percent bang on ready to, you know, push that threshold again. Um, so, you know, me only being, you know, only going back on cycle for the one prep. So it was about honestly like 18 weeks, I think total. Um, and now, you know, I've decided I just need to, you know, come off completely and give my body a good four or five months off of PEDs so I can get a proper reset, which is what you should do. Um, which what a lot of people just need to do is actually do a proper reset, you know, not just take like a month or two and like do a PCT, whatever, but like, you know, take a good four or five months, clear the shit out, really reset, really hold, uh, you know, your health in regard and just make sure that you're being healthy. You know, it's like, cause for me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger pro bodybuilder, you know, I'm not one of the, I'm not on the smaller end. I don't need to add a significant amount of muscle. So for me, like, you know, taking four or five months off PEDs, is not I'm not gonna like shrivel up to nothing you know what I mean it's like yeah sure you'll get a little bit softer you won't have quite the same muscle fullness you won't have quite the same recovery you might lose a little bit of lean tissue but like it's it's not it's not a big deal you know what I mean like for me like I don't need to be bigger I just need to be I just need to come in more polished in condition and peak properly right so that's that's what I wanted to say there is just like you guys gotta make sure you take your health in regard make sure you're doing your blood work make sure you're you know, keeping on top of those things and giving your body the proper breaks because it's like, yeah, everybody talks about all gas, no breaks, but it's like, okay, do you want to be burnt out when you're like in your thirties and then unhealthy and then eventually be one of those statistics that, you know, sadly ends up passing away too young. You know, it's like, I've realized in my, my, my own life now, you know, I'm 30 years old. I've been bodybuilding for 10 years. I realistically, I'm only going to do this another four or five years at the most. Um, maybe even less. It just depends on how things go, you know, like uh, I have my competitive goals set out for me that are very realistic and I don't plan on pushing myself to continue to compete just for the sake of being a pro bodybuilder. You know what I mean? Like I, you know, like you got to stay within what's realistic for yourself and think about your long-term health. Like there's going to be a life after bodybuilding. So you can't just focus on what you're doing now. You have to think about the future too. I know that's hard, especially when you're young. Like for me, a lot of these thoughts and a lot of these like mindset changes didn't happen until I was, you know, in my later twenties, closer to 30. But like, you know, even the guys that are younger, I'm always trying to tell them like, man, you gotta think long-term. You gotta, 
be smart, you gotta be healthy, you gotta train smart, you gotta take those health supplements. It's like, I know a lot of guys skip out on the health supplements because they're like, oh, like everything else is already expensive. And I'm just like, man, like you're gonna thank me a decade from now when you're way healthier than a lot of these other guys that aren't doing that stuff, okay? Now I know it's, like I said, it's not cheap, you know, to do that, but it's like these things are so beneficial long-term, okay? Um, enough about that. The other, the other thing I want to talk about that's like a little more fun, I guess you could say, is uh, magic mushrooms and marijuana, okay? So the reason I want to talk about this is not because I'm like some crazy, you know, well, I am crazy, but, <laughs> um, you know, I'm not, not advocating that you should be taking you know, these things or whatever, but it's like, I want to discuss this because these things are actually something that can be very beneficial for people, especially in the, you know, the fitness world or just in general, you know? So like for me, like as some people may know, it's like, I've been someone who like, I smoke weed on a daily basis, you know? Um, for the most part, I smoke in the evenings, but it's like, there are some times where I'll smoke, uh, you know, before I train or throughout the day, if I'm feeling like anxious and things like that, it's like, there's different types of weed, you know, it affects everybody differently, but I tend to, you know, I tend to stick towards like, you know, more of a sativa type thing if I'm going to take it before I train and then at night more of an indica because it's going to help me sleep better and just relaxes you. And the biggest thing I noticed with that is it just like, you know, it keeps me, um, keeps me more relaxed. It doesn't make me like lethargic and lazy during the day if I do it. It just makes me more relaxed and like it actually helps me just to be, you know, more productive in a sense because I'm not as anxious, you know? Um, and I just find things like that, like for people in general can just be so beneficial for your anxiety and issues like that and just help you just to, you know, focus on what you need to focus on and not be so stressed. Because I find like stress is such a big factor that causes inflammation in your body, causes issues with digestion, sleep, recovery, everything. So it's like doing these little things um, that are actually legal now, um, you know, can really benefit you if that's something that you're interested in playing around with. Now, the magic mushrooms are very new and very much like, I think they're like semi-legal now in Canada. Um, but like, it's something I started experimenting with, you know, the past couple months. Um, and I just, I, I found it interesting because like of what the benefits are in regards to microdosing with, with this type of thing, you know, like you can take, you can literally take like a very small amount, like 0.1 gram, uh, type thing to start. And it's like, what it does is it doesn't make you hallucinate. It doesn't cause like, you know, all these fucking, you don't see all this crazy shit, you know, like people talk about when they take mushrooms. It's like taking the microdosing, it actually is, uh, it's great for focus, creativity, um, and it actually can help suppress your appetite. So if you're dieting for a show, um, this stuff can be great because like I've, what I got in the habit of doing was just like, you know, I'd take it, you know, in the morning or the early, earlier in the day. And like, usually like lasts, I think about, uh, approximately six to eight hours in effect. So it's like, it's not something you're going to feel necessarily in the sense of like, oh, like when you smoke or you drink or something, you feel like, you know, you can feel the high, you can feel the, you know, the, uh, intoxication, whatever. Um, you don't necessarily feel it. I just feel like when I do it, I'm a hundred percent more focused. Like I can go answer emails for clients and I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. Like super focused on what I'm doing and I don't get as easily distracted. And it's like, I don't feel as like, you know, it's like sometimes for me, I'd find like, you know, throughout the day, I would start to be like, yo, I'm just like, you're tired and you're kind of just like, ah, I'll do this tomorrow. But it's like when you're, uh, when you utilize the magic mushroom microdosing, I find you don't feel as fatigued and you're more focused and creative and more, um, you have the desire to do more, I find too. It's like, it's creating a desire for you to do more because you have that ability to focus on what you're doing. Um, and so I've seen great benefits from it, taking it not every day, but like, I would say, you know, multiple times a week. Um, and again, this is not something I'm saying, go do this, but I'm just saying my experience and that it can be beneficial. And, you know, especially if you're dieting, you know, those people, it's like, you know, you feel like you're going to snack or whatever. It's like, you know, you take this stuff during the day. I'd recommend not too late in the day because I find if you take it too late in the day, it can, uh, it can make you feel kind of like too much, almost like it's, it's almost like if you took coffee and later in the day and then you're kind of anxious that day. Like I found like if I took it too late in the day, like say, you know, like 5 PM or something, I'd feel kind of anxious in the evening and wouldn't be able to fall asleep. But early in the day, it wears off by 
by the evening and then you're easy to easier to get to the rest so I just want to bring that up um, I mentioned those things as well as uh, all the rest of the the prep and uh, stuff stuff that uh, that went down so yeah I'm back to doing these car talks and I'm gonna be back to posting more on YouTube in general I'm gonna start making sure that I crank out regular videos in regards to training, nutrition, uh, lifestyle things, um, just to give you guys more content. And, uh, you know, if you guys enjoy it, then, yo, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment of something you'd like to see next. Tell all your friends to subscribe who haven't subscribed already. And if you haven't subscribed yourself, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe now.